Hello guys, in this LaTeX tutorial, I will talk about how to define new comments and operators. A comment can be in two different forms. The first one consists of a backslash followed by a single special character. Some of the examples are uh, a backslash with a comma and a backslash with double dots and etc. These comments are mostly, are mostly used while spacing in math mode. So if you want to learn more about how to space in math mode, you can watch the video by clicking the link above. The second form consists of a backslash followed by a string of letters. Some examples are a backslash with section and backslash with begin and etc. The general syntax for comments uh, is, as you see here, with backslash we are writing the comment name, uh, like as you see above section begin or these some special characters then inside the square brackets we are putting the optional arguments uh, as inputs and lastly in the curly brackets we are providing the mandatory arguments uh, for these comments on the other hand uh, an operator is a function that is written as a word in roman font instead of italics for example, uh, trigonometric functions, logarithmic and exponentials, and limits, and etc. Now, let's focus on how you can define your own comment. For that, we will use a uh, new comment, uh, comment, actually, so you can see the general syntax. Uh, we, we will use backslash with comment, then Inside the first curl breakers, we will provide the uh, name of our new comment. Then inside of the curly brackets, we will provide the number of arguments we are going to use in the uh, comment. And lastly, in the last uh, curl breakers, we will provide the code. Also, there is another way of defining new comment. Uh, instead of using new comment, uh, comment you can use new comment x it's sli slightly different and the difference is that uh, first of all the uh, the first curly brackets you again provide the uh, name of the new comment and in the second uh, part uh, actually in the first square brackets you are providing the number of arguments and then you can provide the uh, list of elements you want to make them default. Uh, while giving an example, I will focus on how you can do it. But uh, the general syntax here, you are first writing the digit and then writing the default value. And you are separating these elements with a uh, comma. And lastly, again, you are providing the code of the comment uh, inside the curly brackets. Also, uh, let's focus on how we can define a new operator. And for that, we will use a declare math operator command. And uh, you can see that uh, the first letters D, M, and O will be capital. And it has uh, two different inputs. The first one in the curly brackets, you are providing the, uh, the name of the new operator. And in the second curly brackets, we are providing the code, uh, which will be substitute for every equivalence of the uh, operator name. Now, uh, let me give you some examples. Before that, uh, we first need to call two packages. The first one is uh, use package msfmat which will be used to define a uh, declare math operator. So by using this package, you can use a uh, declare math operator. And let me make it bigger for you. And the other one is x arx. So this is for if, okay, so, new comment x and as I said the first one is for declare math operator 
Now we are ready to uh, provide the examples. For example, let's start with new comments. And I will just give you some simple examples. For example, let's say that we are using uh, backslash with R as our new comment name. Then we will provide some uh, number of arguments, but right now I am just leaving it empty, so I don't need to put it here. And I am writing uh, R in uh, Blackboard font. Now we defined our comments. We can use in the text, for example, uh, let x in r and now you will see it let's make it auto compile so you can see here okay we haven't defined math bb okay let's make it math call because to define math bb we need other packages as you see uh, you can see math uh, calligraphic font uh, here, it just appeared. This was a simple example. Another example, uh, providing a comment with parameters. Uh, so we cannot use R again, but we can use renew comment, okay, which is same as the if comment. So inside the square brackets, we will provide some input, number of input. So let's say that we have a number of input one. And here I am entered that input by using this symbol and with one. So it says that, that this is the first input and I uh, declared it this comment takes one input and that input will appear here as subscript and again let's write our example to use this uh, optional so this is not optional this is a parameter so I am giving the parameter with curly brackets and I am writing plus sign here and you will see that x in r plus and x in r minus as you see the subscript is a parameter you can use as an input and since it's mandatory uh, input, you just need to provide it within curly brackets. Uh, and the, another example is defining simple comments with optional parameters. So the above one with uh, monitor parameters, that's why we use curly brackets after R. And I would like to use new uh, for optional parameters we need to use new comment x okay so this time instead of using r i will use n for natural numbers and i need to provide the number of inputs let's say it's one and i can define a default value here oops Okay, here we are back and let's say mat call again with n and this time I am using superscript instead of subscript and here we are okay I defined a comment with backslash and capital N and this comment corresponds to the math call N which is a and within calligraphic font and then I am taking the first input as a uh, superscript but this time it's optional so if you don't provide 
nothing to this comment, then it will just print the first part. Okay, because our default input is empty. Let's give an example. Let x in n. Okay, and y in n. Since it's a uh, optional parameters, instead of using curly brackets, I'm using square, square brackets, like, let's say, n square. Okay, and you see it here. Square just appears here, and in the first one, nothing there. So that's the difference between using uh, mandatory parameters and optional parameters. We can further define it uh, with more parameters. For example, let's use again new command x, so which is really the same as new command x. The only difference is that you are using the re part whenever you need to redefine your comment. Basically, you are updating the comment uh, code. Let's say that we have two inputs instead of one. And I'm saying that the second input is uh, optional. Okay, so if maybe let's, let's make it three even uh, uh, better. Okay, so here we can say that the first input is A if it's not provided and the second input is empty if it's not provided but the third input should be provided. Okay, so uh, here I am writing three to as a spare script and lastly I am writing number two as subscript. Now let's see what it prints. I will use the same comment again. X in N. Now I need to pro provide at least one input which is the third one because it's a mandatory one. So that's why I am opening a curly brackets and I am writing B. And you will see that it's N to two A comma B, okay? Because we provided uh, the third input. And even though we use curly brackets because third input is the mandatory one. So we have to provide it curly brackets. You can think as if you provide uh, like so since this is the first mandatory input it's the first one with the curly brackets and for other ones we will use square brackets for example here I can leave it empty so it's also possible and actually we should need to put it before the curly because always uh, the optional ones are provided before the monetary one. As you see, the A just disappeared here, okay? Because uh, the first input, the first optional input was A as default, and I just provided A as empty. You can make it C, and it will be C, it's B, okay? And then the second optional, you need to open another square bracket. And let's say D. And okay. Let's make it bigger for you. And here you can see D here. So this is very powerful, I should say. Uh, I mostly use it while defining I mean, if you are using the same subscript or superscript every time, then you can make it optional. Let me give you another example. Let's say you need comment and let's say AT. It's just uh, some name I put there. And okay, let's make it new comment X. And it's taking one input. And that input is uh, one is equal to T. Oops. And let's say that our subscript number one. 
okay uh, now let's give some space here and let's add e in r and we need to provide we, we need to provide uh, whether it's positive or negative because it's a mandatory argument okay you can see it here 80 in r plus or let's say 80 t plus 1 since it's an optional input i am just providing in, in a square brackets okay so this is uh how we define simple uh, comments with optional parameters and the last thing is the operators let me give you some example how we can define them uh, the, ni the nice thing about nib comment and nib comment you can write them inside the document but uh, for declare uh, math operator we just need to go back to the preamble and we need to provide our uh, comment here but before that let me give you some example that for example let's use sign function say sign one or maybe more interesting sign pi as you see it it looks like a uh, text but in fact it's in roman font uh, because i'm just using this sign comment and i am in the math spot because i am using the dollar signs and let's try the other thing what if we don't use the sign comment but instead of we are just using sign then the difference is that the sign looks italic but here the first sign looks uh, like it in text mode okay so if you want to define something like that so it's called operators we need to go back to the preamble and we will use declare math operator and inside the first curly brackets we are writing our uh, okay for example arc mean because arc mean is not defined let's come back and we need to write for example arc let's give some space and me and if we go back here now i can use arc me as you see and there are some space here so to give that space i used uh, this comma again you can make it uh, double dot and the it will increase but uh, it's not that significant so to, as i said earlier to learn more about this spacing you can watch the video uh, linked above okay so this is how we define math operators and which is very powerful for example you can say uh, x in r Oops. okay i need to put another curve here so here we are okay i think uh that's all about comments and operators i hope that the video was helpful please leave a comment if you have any question and hope to see you in the next videos